My name is Jared. We're high. Uh, my name is Sharon Bonafonte. Uh, people say me being emo is really just a phase. Some examples of those people are my mother, my father, my brother, my stepbrother. Well, I'll, I guess I could tell you a little bit about myself. Well, um, I come from southern Georgia, close to Kissimmee. K Kimissi Kimissimmee, you know what I mean well. I've chosen this lifestyle because I really think it suits me for the dark personality I have. Um, people do ask me if I've always been like this, and no, I haven't. I used to be what people called normal. Little do you know, I'm not here for you. I mean, that's quite a stretch, saying I'm not here for you. Um, I'm very sorry about that, and I'm not here for you. Um, normal people do scare me. That's why I did change. I have a love of my life already, and you might be asking, Bonafonte, why are you here tonight at speed dating? And that's because I am hot for a man, I'll tell you. But I used to be a singer, and I was really good. Um, I can sing for you now. I can actually serenade you. Like, I brought this guitar, I got this on my nifty tablets one of my four daughters gave me. I remember the lyrics for that one song. I believe I can fly. I can already assume that the love of you, my life is yours too. Because if you're not hot for a man named Vin Diesel, I don't know who you could be. I believe I could touch the sky. Oh. This man, I'm telling you what. Whoo, it's whoo. I can't tell if it's hot in here or if it's just him. Spread my wings and fly away. Vin Diesel, I'm t he's a future husband of mine. People stare at me in public, so like, I don't get that. Well, I got all ready because in case he's here tonight, like, what if I found him? I gotta like gussy up too and everything. Oh my goodness, I love a man named Vin Diesel. It's a good evening. About myself, well, I have some favorite bands. Um, MCR is a really good one. Look at his, oh, sweet Mama Morton, look at his muscles. Oh. Uh, Fallout Boy's a good one. I'm telling you. This, this man's beautiful, but really, if you could help me find him, that's, be that's, that's something fantabulous. Pierce the Veil, Falling in Reverse, Slipknot's a pretty good favorite of mine, honestly. I've been going to speed dating places all my life to try and find like Vin Diesel. How, when was the last time that I've been outside? Um, March 21st, 2013. I mean, he has a vacation house in in Florida. It's uh, 1275 Sunset Boulevard, 33777, Florida. Oh, Why haven't I really been outside since today? Well, uh, March 22nd, 2013 was probably the biggest tragedy of my life. I got my trailer. My four kids aren't a problem. Adoption's always an option. That rhymed, didn't it? Adoption's always an option. I'm gonna start saying that to them when they disobey. Um, like, it's come before my grandpa dying, too. It was when MCR broke up, and I don't think I'll ever recover from that moment in my life. Well, about my four kids, well, there's Jimbo. My favorite TV show, people ask that all the time, is Adventure Time. Um, I really relate to Marceline, but the guy version. There's, uh, uh, did I say four daughters earlier? I mean, I have a son. I really completely forget about him. People ask me why I wear long sleeves and sweaters even in the summertime when it's really hot here in Florida. And it is because it's not to trap in the heat, but to trap in my feelings. 
that I don't share with anybody else. There's Jimbo. I do have some favorite quotes. These ones are on my wristbands. You only hear the music when your heart begins to break. And what's the other one's name? Oh, Sharon. She's named after me, Sharon Jr. She's real nice. That reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. There's Clarice. And her name was Ashley, and she thought she was a cat, so that's why I broke up with her. But she was also really hot, so I went along with it. And Goodness, I swear to God, this is Jimbo. That's you, kid. Hello? It's Jimbo. Like when someone would call her a freak in public, um, I made really cool puns to make her feel better about herself. Like, you've cat to be kitten me, right meow. Jimbo, how's it going? How you doing, sweetie? No, I'm not home right now. I told you mama's on a date. Um, I did write a song for you today because I thought it would help show the love that I have for you, even though, you know, it's only really been 30 minutes. No, Jimbo. Have Clarice do it for you. I hate my life. I want to jump off a bridge. Have you mopped the floors yet? You know the trailer gets dirty. You haven't mopped the floors yet? No. Oh. You better have that. F if those floors ain't mopped by the time I home, I swear to God, Jimbo, you'll be put up for adoption. I mean, I learned a nifty rhyme. Do adoption is always an option, and that will not be a hesitation to put you in a foster home. Do you understand me? Give me that kid, I swear. Let me pass my sleep away peacefully. This has been a wonderful night with you. Oh wait, no thanks, I love you. It, unfortunately, I was informed that there was dinner, but I don't see no filet mignon or any food at that on my, on my plate. So, what would I look for in a relationship? What I would look for in a relationship, honestly, is someone who gives me nuzzles on the nose and accepts my emo for who I am. So if I could, next time we go out and get a nice meal, that'd be pretty, that'd be pretty nice, I'm telling you what. Um, I guess this is where I say goodbye. Saying goodbyes always hasn't been easy for me because I get really emotional sometimes. I just don't show it because crying's too overrated for me. Outback Steakhouse, my favorite restaurant, by the way. I do like Outback. Any steak places, I'm a uh, carnivore. I did have one more song for you. You can hold me when I cry. We can watch my favorite soap operas together. Will I ever see you again? I take it as a no. I cry myself to sleep because I love you. I'll never see you again. And that makes me hurt. My heart bleeds for you. Goodbye, my love. So the three hundred dollars will be in check or cash. Or what do you mean I'm not gonna be in the commercial? I mean I put on a full face of a full face of makeup. Uh you know, I have hairspray and lip gloss. I'm wearing a purse I have socks in a bra and I'm not gonna be given three hundred dollars. So will I be getting the money for this commercial? No, that's okay. Vin Diesel wasn't an, wasn't just an option for a, like a love life. He was an option for the love of your life. No. I mean, I was gonna go see the Warped Tour concert only for my favorite guy Pete Wentz. Unfortunately, not Gerard Way because we already know what happened. Gerard Way, I'm talking to you in particular because you broke up MCR. I hate you forever. Just kidding. Rar means I love you in dinosaur. I love you, Rar.
All right, I'm see you in court because this is currently unfair. The conditions I went through to be here, not worth it. Not worth. Not worth it. Not not worth it. <laughs>